guys, so we're gonna stick to the topic of the Toyota Tacoma. Um, this video, we're gonna go over the look and leave it on the I opted for uh, the Old Man Emu three inch medium load lift kit I got off eBay, uh, which uh, I guess ordered it from Modify, but I ended up getting 1% cash back from Rakuten, uh, just buying it. Uh, so that was the better option for me. I didn't know quite what weight I was going to run in the front, run it in the back. I knew that I was going to build something. Uh, so I went with medium right now. Um, and the price was good. It was under $2,000. It wasn't uh, any blocks in the back. And, you know, it was a real lift kit. So this is what I bought on eBay. And as you guys can see, it says three inch lift, but I'm not sure if it is actually a three inch lift uh, with mediums. And according to this, um, it was supposed to come with the 888 shocks, which are the heavy duty ones. But as I looked in the box, uh, it, it actually came with 88, well actually, no, it actually came with it did not come with the 886 springs. These are the heavy duty springs. It actually came with the 888, which are a little lighter. So they messed up in shipping them. I guess it, it was, it was it, they, they messed up. It was something in the wrong box. Uh, but I am using the EL111R leaf springs in the back, which are a step up from stock to allow a little bit extra weight. And on this one right here, it says increased load capacity in the front. 100 to 200 pounds and in the rear 400 to 800 in the rear so that's what we have installed in the truck now we also are, are running uh, freedom off-road upper control arms on the vehicle uh, and then we had it aligned um, the back end was up quite a bit until i put on a little bit of weight which is what uh, arb and Old Man Emu, that's exactly what the customer support said. They said, you're not gonna have the right stance until you actually put on the weight that this truck and this lift kit was designed for. So after we added on the spare tire, we added on the full wheel part, rear bumper, that's when the back came down a little bit. Um, so right now it's sitting level and it's only sitting level and it doesn't have the driver's side lean right now because I do have the passenger, I do have the spare tire on the passenger side. So it is kind of tilting the truck a little bit and it's making it completely level. Um, there are shim kits. There are a little one quarter inch shim that you can buy. I know there's a Packer, an Old Man Emu Packer also to the packer actually packs the spring. So if, if you get a little bit of sagging in the front, you're adding too much weight, you can actually put that in there. And then also that shim is a quarter inch shim you can put on top of the spring in the front that allows the lift to go up just a little bit. Um, talking to Old Man Emu, they did not recommend me putting on anything. Right now I don't have a front bumper and I don't have a winch in the front yet. So I haven't installed any of that stuff yet. and I'm looking at the same three inch lift, I noticed that my truck does not sit as high as others. Um, I know that if I go Dobbins and I, it, I know that I can get a real three inch lift out of it, I actually called Mudify, I called eBay, and I was communicating them that the truck does not look three inch. I also contacted ARB. ARB says that they do not sell a Toyota Tacoma three inch lift. They just don't. They said they sell a two inch and maybe a two and a half inch depending on the spring. So I have the manufacturer of the spring saying one thing. I have Mudify saying, oh, it is a three inch lift, two different things. So I did take measurements and the measurements go as this. The truck is level. So on both sides in the front from, I'm trying to, got as, I got as close as I can, but from the center hub to the top fender, that's what I'm measuring now because I can't measure from the ground because I have different tires. Um, so the front's running 21 and 5 eighths inch from the from from those measurements that I said from the top of the fender down to the center hub 21 and 5 eighths and in the back I'm hitting 22 
and seven eighths. So there's a little bit of a rake, but that's good. I know I still need to add about maybe 250 more pounds to the back end of the truck. They said that we'll level that out. Um, so all in all, I was not happy with the lift when I bought it because it was not looking at like three inches from the front. It's probably two, two and a half. So I did get lied to. By Mudify, I got lied. I could have did a whole return on eBay and exercised my right to say, hey, you know what? This is not what I ordered, but I already installed this thing on my truck and I don't want to pull it back off. And an inch or a half an inch, it doesn't matter to me. It's fine. They say buy a lift. They, they say on a truck, you're going to buy two lifts, the first lift and then the second lift. So uh, this is the first time around. I think this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'll just keep it, but it sits okay in my opinion, but it does not sit the three inches. Now, if anybody has measurements on a three inch lift, or if they have measurements on a stock setup, I have a 2023 Toyota Tacoma off-road. If you have the same setup, measure from the center hub to the top of the fender. I've been looking online and there's a bunch of different things online. I don't know if people measure right, but drop it in the comments and let me know what the stock measurement is or what your three inch lift is so that I can kind of compare that to mine. Mine's 21 and 5 eighths in the front, 22 and 7 eighths in the back. Let me know, drop a comment below.